Hi, I'm Matt, and right now it is uni acceptance time. Now I've watched a ton of these videos before, but not a lot of them are guys nor Canadian students. So hopefully this fixes that. I'm going into either computer science or business, and I applied to six different Canadian programs across three universities. Here are the programs that I applied to. Computer Science and Business Administration double degree at University of Waterloo and Wilfrid Laurier University from the Waterloo side. The exact same thing, but from the Laurier side with minor differences. CSBBA double degree at only Laurier. CS at Waterloo. CS at UFT St. George. And my safety school was marketing at the University of Toronto Scarborough campus. Now I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have extremely high 90s I wasn't the founder of every club while curing cancer on the side. This guy with a YouTube channel. So though I knew my chances were slim, this is what happened. It's November, November what? It's like November 21st. Um, and I just sent in my application for university. This is just the first part of the process. And uh, if I'm worried about the application process so far, um, I've got to be honest, I think I am just a little bit, mostly because like everybody that's applying for CS and, you know, courses related or programs like that, their averages are so much higher than mine. Um, mine right now is a low 90. That's definitely something that's a little bit concerning for me, but I'm feeling kind of hopeful um, regarding the letter because I think that I can, I can talk about my extracurriculars a little bit to hopefully um, make my application seem a little bit better, maybe. All right, so today is December 12th and basically what I've done between this and the last segment is I've started filling out a lot more of the supplementary applications and things like that. And today I went and checked the mails and I got a card from University of Toronto. So I was extremely excited to see this, but then I open it and it's a newsletter. Um, okay, like literally, look at this. Look at this. It's, it's literally just a, a newsletter. Like the way they got my hopes up. You've got to be kidding. All right. Hi. So today is February 24th. In between that time, mostly did the AIF, did some scholarship type stuff, all that kind of boring stuff. Um, nothing really to report on, but today, this morning, I'm actually in online class right now, so that's why I'm so tired, but um, right now, I got an email from University of Toronto with an admissions decision. So I'll take you guys and we'll check it out and we'll see. I mean, Canada's a little bit different because I didn't apply to like 10 or 11 universities. It's like literally, Literally, I applied to like five and they they give you by default three. So it's like not as much choices, at least I think. I don't know. Maybe I don't, I don't like I don't even know. But anyways, I didn't apply to that many. So I really hope that I get it. But we'll see. Check your application status. University of Toronto Scarborough. And I was admitted. Wait, what does that mean? That means I'm in, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Congratulations, Matthew. You have been admitted to co-op management at the University of Toronto Scarborough for fall 2021. Hmm, that's so cool. I know this isn't like a crazy reaction or anything like that, but I'm actually super, super glad that I got accepted. Cause like, like, I'm not one of those students with like extremely, extremely high marks. Like my marks are decently, decently high. It's nothing crazy. So it's like, it's like now I have that reassurance that I at least know that I'm going somewhere, not nowhere. Um, so that's pretty cool. But I mean, technically this was my safety net school. So we'll see. This is definitely is not my first choice and I hope I get into my other programs, but this is a good start. So yeah. And while getting into this program was definitely a weight off my shoulder, I really didn't want to go here. Partly because of the campus and the location, and partly because I know that if I really wanted to go into business only, there are better programs out there for that. And then after February, nobody decided to email me. And I had to wait around from February all the way until May to hear from another university. Yeah, that was not fun. What's up, guys? Um, it's been a minute, but something just came in my email. So let's check it out. We have 
another acceptance. <laughs> okay, this one's this one's pretty exciting. This one's pretty exciting because the the U of T one, like, yeah, it's a good school, but it's not it's not what I want to go for, right? Like, that's not my first choice. This also isn't my first choice, but it's like one of my top three. So that's why I'm like super stoked. Um, congratulations, Matthew, you have received an offer of admissions to Wilfrid Laurier University. That's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Um, I'm just gonna check with OUAC, make sure it's all legit, but damn. So it's my third choice that I got into, but it's the double degree one too. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> that's actually pretty exciting. Cause like these ones are super, super competitive. So that's like, that's real good. Damn, I'm happy about that still. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I was really excited about getting into this program because well, apart from the fact that they gave me an entrance scholarship, the business side of this program was really strong and, you know, the entire waiting game was just making me really doubt applying to double degree programs because those are historically more competitive to get into. But overall, I was really happy with this program and if you guys want a specific video about the thought process that I had when choosing this program, definitely let me know in the comments. All right, so today is May 12th, and I just got another email from Laurier saying, you know, congratulations for your offer, all that kind of stuff. And like, when I first saw it, I was like, you know, oh, it's just another follow-up email, I guess, for um, for the program that I just got into. It should have been like a recent clip or something like that. Anyways, I thought it was for that. But then I remembered that I applied to two programs at Laurier, and I haven't heard back from one. So... So this is what I applied to, and this is how I've been looking at it, UWB. So the thing that was tripping me up for context was all these names, because like, bro, they're so similar. So I started looking at these, UWB is what I applied to, and instead of getting in, I got an alternate to UXA. But right underneath that, I got an offer to UXA. All right, so as you can see, this one was by far the weirdest. Like I didn't get in, but then I got an alternate to the exact program that I was just accepted to. Yeah, not very cash money, Laurier. Not very cash money. So yeah, that was the first alternate, but I wasn't too upset about it. Well, because they gave me the same, whatever. And I just, like I opened my email for a quick, I'm so overexposed with that. Yeah, today is May 14th. And just like my friend said, the Waterloo admissions are out. Um, I checked my email and I basically didn't open up anything. I just looked and it says that a decision is available. So I'm gonna check it right now and we'll see. This is, this is the one that we've been waiting on, so. All right, here we go. Two programs. Let's find out what this says. Oh God. Your application to the University of Waterloo for fall 2021 has been careful consideration. Blah, blah, blah. We are unfortunately unable to admit you. Hmm. Let's see what the second one says. Yeah. The other one is the harder one to get into. So I actually opened up the easier one first and I got rejected from that one. Damn. Rejected from both. That is crazy. My marks were like mid 90s, which is what is on the low end of what they're looking for. But we'll see. Yep. Two rejections one time. That is crazy. It does kind of suck that they didn't give me like an alternate or anything like that. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Just gotta roll with it. Um, I think the reason that like I'm so chill about it is cause I do have that other one from Laurier. I feel like if I got that one later than this one, like if I got this first, I feel like I would be like in shambles or something like that. But yeah, the one that I got is not bad. It's just, it, it is pretty disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. It is, it's pretty rough, but you know, it's Waterloo. 
What are you going to do? Number one mathematics school in the country. So. Mm, no, this one. This one sucked. Mostly because I got hit with like that wombo combo double rejection type beat. It was rough. Now I knew that these programs were hard to get into and that my chances were slim, but it still would have been nice to get in. But still, I wasn't too upset about it. <sighs> All right, it feels like I've been waiting forever to hear back from the school because it's May 19th. I've heard back from every school at this point and like I'm already starting to try and decide which program I wanna go into. So the fact that Toronto was taking this long, ugh, it was just, it was annoying. But anyways, today I finally gotten the email to see what my update is. Honestly, if I get in, if I don't get in, I'm not really gonna be that bothered by it because this program, it's not like a, it's not like a backup. It's just, it's not my ideal program, if that makes sense. So anyways, this is the final one. Let's see what it says. There has been an update to your University of Toronto application. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Your application to the Faculty of Arts and Science has been carefully considered. We regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to this area. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, sometimes this kind of stuff happens. I did everything that I could when applying, so, you know, it just be like that sometimes. Yeah, could have been better, could have been worse, but overall, pretty solid. Okay, so as you can see in the video, I was super chill about this rejection at first. But you know, the more that I thought about it, the more I was like, you know, I should have gotten in. Like it definitely was not as competitive as Waterloo. And when I go back and I check like the extracurriculars, the marks, all that kind of stuff, it all checks out for me to get in. Not to mention U of T was the first school to accept me. So this one was kind of pissing me off. But apart from all that, I ended up coming to the realization that, you know, extracurriculars, grades, all that kind of stuff, it's only a piece of the puzzle and there is a fair amount of luck involved with the schools that accept you and the schools that reject you. Grades aren't everything, and sometimes you just need dumb luck, which I didn't have. God damn it. And that concludes my university decisions journey. As of right now, I am going to be going to Laurier for the Computer Science and Business Administration double degree, which should be pretty interesting. And if you've enjoyed this video, then I definitely recommend you check out this playlist of all my other school-related content. Thanks for watching.